are the complications of peptic ulcer. Complications of peptic ulcers. Okay. I will first name all the complications, then I will explain them to you. So, the first complication is bleeding. Bleeding is the most common complication of peptic ulcer. Then there is perforation. intractability and then there is gastric outlet obstruction okay so uh, the heading is what all are the complications of peptic ulcers as a whole okay so the most important complication is or the most common complication is bleeding this is most common complication okay most common complication is bleeding in duodenal ulcers the bleeding occurs from the ulcers on posterior wall and the artery responsible is gastro duodenal artery okay gda Whereas in gastric ulcers, the ulcers are located on the incisura most commonly at the level of incisura angularis and the most common artery involved will be artery involved will be left gastric artery. Okay. Overall which ulcers are more common? Duodenal ulcers are more common. Bleeding is more common in duodenal ulcers and most common artery responsible for peptic ulcer bleeding is gastroduodenal artery. Okay. Now coming on to the perforation. Perforation is more common in gastric ulcers. Okay. And in followed by in anterior wall of or anterior ulcers of duodenum okay so overall perforation is more common in gastric ulcers if a duodenal ulcer is perforating it is more common in anterior ulcers okay so we generally remember as that in duodenum the anterior ulcers they perforate they have a tendency to perforate more and the posterior ulcers they have a tendency to bleed more okay now the next complication is intractability intractability is failure of medical management and if there is a failure of medical management the treatment is for intractable or non-healing chronic duodenal ulcer the treatment is HSV okay vagotomy okay and which vagotomy HSV and then the next complication is gastric outlet obstruction hmm. Now, the gastric outlet obstruction we will discuss one by one. Now, the duodenal ulcer, the ulcer on the posterior wall, they bleed more. The artery is GDA. The ulcers on anterior wall, they perforate. Okay. What is the treatment of bleeding? Suppose this is a duodenum or D1 or there is a bleeding point. First of all, we will do endoscopy and then we will uh, try to localize the site of bleeding and we will put some either endoscopic clips or coagulation, electrocoagulation. But in case if the bleeding is not stopping and there is failure of endoscopic management, we will have to perform surgery. So in surgery, we will open the duodenum, we will do duodenotomy. Then we will ligate the bleeding vessel and then we will do truncal vagotomy and pyloroplasty. Okay. We will close. Okay. So we will open like this 
बट विल क्लोज इट ट्रांसवर्सली जिस सो दैट इट विल नॉट बिकम नैरो ओके दिस इज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ ब्लीडिंग नाउ वट इज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ अ परफोरेटेड अल्सर परफोरेशन ओके नाउ फॉर परफोरेशन वी डू मॉडिफाइड ओमेंटल पैच रिपेयर Is also known as Graham's repair or a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's repair is a modified Graham's repair. Okay. Now, Graham's and what is the next complication we would like to discuss gastric outlet obstruction so what is the most common location of gastric outlet obstruction in patients with peptic ulcers so the most common type of peptic ulcer is duodenum okay so the most common site is of gastric outlet obstruction is duodenum Which is D one, okay. Most common site in peptic ulcer is very important. Most common site for gastric outlet obstruction overall. Overall, the most common cause is C A stomach, and the most common site for carcinoma stomach is antrum or pylorus. Okay. The mass at antrum. but if they are asking regarding specifically regarding peptic ulcer then the most common location is d1 duodenum okay now suppose if there is a patient having gastric gastric outlet obstruction due to a duodenal ulcer in majority of the patients it is because of the ulcer there is edema so for management we'll have to first do a conservative management where we will keep the patient near per oral we will drain the stomach via rails tube and gradually in majority of the patients this gastric outlet obstruction resolves partially okay so the management is conservative in which we will keep the patient npo and we will give them iv fluids and we will drain the stomach via rails tube okay but in case if the patient is not responding to the conservative management the failure of conservative management what is the surgical treatment of choice in this patient surgery of choice is truncal vagotomy plus entrectomy okay so that surgical treatment of choice in patients with gastric outlet obstruction occurring due to duodenal ulcers the surgical treatment of choice is truncal vagotomy with entrectomy and what is the bedside test to detect gastric outlet obstruction it is saline load test in saline load test we will first empty the stomach by using a rails tube and after that we will fill 750 ml of fluid normal saline into the stomach and then we will wait for 30 minutes okay and if after 30 minutes if the ng aspiration is more than 4 400 ml then it is diagnostic of gastric outlet obstruction okay 